I've impressed. I don't think that the winch would be sufficient with this battery setup to uh, pull a, a diesel pickup truck onto a trailer, but it would certainly be sufficient to pull a small car onto a trailer. I used a battery adapter with 10 gauge wires to power my 4,500 pound winch, which at the time was the cheapest unit available on Amazon with steel cable in that size. Um, the battery with the rigid, um, they cut out if you pull them real hard and you have to pull the battery out of the, out of the adapter and stick it back in to reset it. I built it so that it balances nicely, picked up off the center, it's the rear um, anchor point is about the center of the, the drum, both up and down and side to side, that way it pulls straight. One thing that would have been nice is if I could figure out a way to make it hang upright but it's not a real big deal but when it when it hangs it hangs with this this side down <clears throat> i used a magnet on the the switch so that i can use it on the handle or elsewise however the remote that came with this works remarkably well not perfectly but pretty well so as of right now, that's all I'm using. I don't know what the long-term durability of it's going to be, but then again, it's probably not gonna, the winch itself isn't gonna last forever either. So um, you can use a block to double your winching power, which is a consideration if you're getting close to the maximum effective pulling power of it. And as far as safety is concerned, you got to use your head, but um, whatever you do, don't wrap your winch cable around the tree because that kills trees. But your own safety is your own problem.